bam, bam, ba, down. Theme song. All right, it's time for some more solid content tavern building. We're getting back into it today, and I know some of the commenters are going to be stoked about this. I got me some 38,000 doubloons to spend, so today we are just going to go straight into building that second floor, baby. Um, here's a couple of updates while I grinded away all of that cash. I did a few changes here, uh, starting outside, of course, with a couple of bushes just around the cemetery. <laughs> Love this little thing. Uh, and then um, we had this stain building up in the last episode. We talked about it a lot. A lot of people had some great strategies. Your employee is leveling okay, up. Okay, employee's leveling up. A lot of people had some great strategies for how to deal with the stain, which I nicknamed in the end uh, Citizen Stain. Uh, so this is still going to be named the Citizen Stain Stairwell. Uh, as you can see, it is gone. It is not gone by any of those means, though, because you guys were making some great suggestions. I had already tried a couple of things, like selling the tile and then rebuilding it changing this to a kitchen for a bit and seeing if that would if that would pique their interest but then no they just kept stacking up on it uh, and freezing out a little bit so what I did was I went back in my auto saves all the way back to before that cauldron got placed there and then I rebuilt it off of a screenshot to get it back up to what we have now so that was one heck of a grind so basically, I've saved up 38,000 doubloons like twice now before in between episodes. That was brutal. I didn't get, as you can see, I got a different stove here because I couldn't find that stove again. Uh, the stove we had in the last save game is right here, unfortunately. That I still cannot get it. I still can't click on that to go get it. And I can't click on this to, I can't, I can't get the item from there either. So I don't know what that's all about, but... That's fine. This one looks a little better. So we've got our kitchen all done up. We've got our storage looking a little different, uh, but uh, uh, similar to, to what we had before we you guys left me. And then we did up our hallways, and I decorated this one uh, in kind of a nice little... I put some like stuff... Oh, there's somebody using it. What is she doing? What? <laughs> this isn't the main hall. She wanted some privacy. It was a little noisy in here, and there's lots of smokers, so she probably just... Yeah, she just wanted to chill here. I hope somebody comes and gets that. Yeah, okay, great. That's good to know. So this empty room, uh, if you put out a table and chairs and the chairs are connected, I guess uh, they'll just drink out here. So anyway, so we've called this room the uh, Auntie Deborah stairwell just because of this little couch here. kind of reminds me of sort of an Auntie Deborah kind of a thing. <laughs> But I like this. This is kind of going to be the look of our hallways with that, like, sort of off-white, whatever, crusty uh, wallpaper stuff. Looks like cracked paint or something. So let's do that over here. And then, oh, yeah, and I put up a little banister. So let's do that here uh, in Citizen Stain room. And then let's get going with the second floor. So the first thing we need to do is find that banister item that I found. One thing that I've noticed from some other people's playthroughs of this game that I've been watching is I am definitely not playing it in a way that's like... Uh, optimizing it. Like, look, there's even fewer... I took a few tables out. Uh, it doesn't look as... Uh, it looks maybe a little empty in here, and I want to make more little areas like this. But yeah, so I'm not necessarily trying to optimize the game I found, and maybe that's a bit annoying uh, to people, but you know what? What can you do, huh? I am who I am. I don't optimize. I play. What? Uh, how did I do that last time? Oh, it just goes out, so I start against the wall. Uh, the other thing I did was I uh, I had that bug in the in the normal play, like before I was playing challenging mode, with the making wax. Let's go out that far. I mean, that looks a little dumb, but come on. This isn't Planet Zoo here. We don't need to get it exact. <laughs> uh, I was worried about doing this again because there was a bug where they just, like, stopped making candles. Uh, but now, in one of the updates, we have the candle maker fixed. So now you can stop crafting and start crafting. And I think that helps with them knowing uh, knowing to do that. Did I keep carry on all the way? That's fine, okay. So I think that helps uh, with people uh, not like, it doesn't, it, they don't stop making it. You tell them to stop or you tell them to start. If I do tell them to start, let's see if they start They start doing it. You'll notice that after a while, there are, there's like going to be two or three people just stacked up on top of each other making candles. They get to making candles hard. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, we'll do that later. <laughs> okay, so let's make sure we got a nice uh, wall in here. Nice wallpaper. 
Oh yeah, that's the other thing I forgot to talk about. There's a new update. Look, we get roofs now. <laughs> that is certainly a, what a roof texture looks like. <laughs> and you can change stuff with it, but I think it's going to cost me like a thousand bucks. Oh, I used to be able to. As soon as you place it, it'll cost you a thousand doubloons, and then you can uh, alter the pitch and the height and stuff like that. Uh, so you can make a totally flat roof if you want, but it kind of, the stairs will pop out through there. Uh, but other than that, I actually don't know how to view, you have to be in roof mode to view it. So you can't really just get a screenshot of it playing. You can go control two here and take away the HUD, but you're still seeing the highlight of the doors. Anyway, so that's that. What was I going to do? Let's decorate this thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wallpaper. <laughs> Ugh. Get out of... Okay. Do, 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 do. Not that one. It was not that one. That one. Yeah, see, that looks like taverny to me. So let's get that going on. And so this this is the citizen stain room. Uh, maybe not the Auntie Deborah room. I don't know why I'm rolling my R's. So what do we want in here? What looks good? Oh, this is an, ex an exterior prop. Oh yeah, check out, I found a bearskin rug. I can't wait to put that in one of the rooms today. That's going in a room, oh, uh, for sure. What if this is the, this is the um, citizen stain room. So like maybe it's royal, maybe it's quite regal. You know, for, for, the, for, the, for the discerning traveler. We'll make a discerning traveler's room here. Uh, like this. I'm telling you, this music rips. This is why I play this game. For this rapid music. I wish I could uh, filter stuff by person type. Traveler type. Okay, so they like shields, huh? They like shields, eh? Well, how about this? Can I raise that? No. I'll move you a little bit over. Okay. <sighs> I mean, yeah, so, okay, they just love shields, and they love mostly just shields. I mean, shields are okay. They're not, you know, I'm not like, wow, look at this shield hallway. Oh, well. I mean, you gotta put shields somewhere. Uh, and then we need just like to decorate out the corner here. So let's put some, uh, let's just put another table and chair kind of situation. Yeah, I'm not feeling like super inspired by this room. It's not really telling me what it wants to be really. <laughs> uh, but hopefully the upstairs room, something more will come of them. Okay, do we have any chair styles that are like traveler? Okay, this is a traveler chair. Gross, lame. All right, and uh, is there like a table that travelers really like? <laughs> nope. I'm glad it's not that marble table. Gross. All right, well, let's just give them a table then, like just like a little round table, like a, that looks a bit gnarly. I don't know, we'll just put this little table in the corner of the room here, just like the other spot. And then, uh, see if I can't, there we go. Get that in there. I think when it highlights yellow like that, I think, yeah, see now they move as a unit. So I think that means they also, the, the patrons will see it as a viable spot for them to eat and chill. Uh, let's put a rug under it. Cause you know, you know what helps when you're spilling stuff everywhere? A nice rug to... Oh, look at that stool. A nice rug to absorb it all. <laughs> maybe maybe that's how they keep the place clean. They throw the rugs out every couple of months. Throw out the crumb rugs. Do we want this circle one? Oh, it's pretty big. That's a beast. Maybe this little rug. It looks kind of nice. I wish I could intersect it through the walls. Actually, no. I don't wish that because that would look very... Silly and fake. Something's missing here. Eh. Eh. All right, we'll just do that. Yeah, I mean, it looks okay. You know? It looks okay, and that's what I'm about here. I'm about just making stuff that looks kind of okay. 
There's some flowers in the corner. Make that kind of nice here. Maybe like a along this wall, we want like a bookshelf. Didn't we get some sort of bookshelf? I have unlocked a lot of items, including, look at this, a bread oven. Look at that thing. Ooh, I can't wait to place it. Oh, it's also an exterior item. I mean, I guess. I guess you can't have a bread oven inside your... That doesn't make sense. You gotta, we can have fireplaces in here. The bread oven's the same thing. It just needs like a little chimney or something. You know what? What do I know? I'm not a bread oven designer. All right, what, something like this. Oh, there's a bookshelf. There we are. So this is like, I don't know, like a communal bookshelf, I guess. <laughs> that looks nice enough. So there we have it. There's our, uh, these first floor rooms done. I think in the long run, I might just use these rooms for something else and then have the stairs out here in the main hall of our tavern because honestly, that's like, uh, that's kind of what I imagine a tavern to be. You walk in and then on the first floor is all the hubbub and also the stairs to get up. And then all this stuff is, anyway, but for now, Let's pop up and get started on part one. Now I say part one because I did the math and I have enough money to hopefully build this whole part of the second floor. So this is part one today. And then make some rooms and hopefully get some people staying here so I can save up a bunch of money. Because to, to finish this area, to build a balcony, I'll have to buy all of these tiles, then delete the floor to get the balcony. So that's gonna cost a lot of cash to get this thing done. Uh, but I think it's gonna look really nice. Uh, very looking forward to it. So when you get up onto the second floor, you're gonna come out to, here we go, we're spending the money. You're gonna come out to uh, this sort of hallway. And right now it's no balcony. Right now it's just gonna be this hallway. And then I think uh, we'll just go straight across like so. And then we're gonna need to do this for the stairs, yep, I think it needs both. And then uh, the stairs up to the third floor eventually will be right here. So we'll do the same thing on this side. All right, so this is our empty hall here. And then I wanna make, I'm gonna see if I can't fit in. I mean, they're gonna be kind of small. They're gonna suffer from this, the room, the size problem. But I'm gonna see if I can't make a guest room, like maybe all of this. And then another guest room, all of this, and then make, I don't know if this is going to be a good idea, a tiny little staff room right here. Uh, here's why I don't think that's going to work, actually, because how do they get there? Eventually, there's going to be another staircase right here. So then how do they get to this little staff room? So maybe this should just be one giant. I w uh, yeah, the problem is I didn't make this symmetrical down here. It's... Uh, or, uh, I mean, even. It's symmetrical, but it's all in threes, so it's nine across. Uh, so let's just uh, make... Yeah, so one room's going to get the short end of the stick, and the other room's just going to be pretty big. Unless, like, I could do... Okay, let's make a guest room, like, just for now, just to get started. We'll make this guest room like so. Hear me out. And then I want to make a new guest room. Oh! That's so crazy, like, already so much of my cash is gone. But here we go, part two, the floor. Now, here's what I'm thinking. We could have a staff room. This could be, it's tiny. It's gonna suffer from that debuff. They both are. But I could wall all of this in and have a little staff room here. So there's another door right there for the staff room. Should we just have a little staff room? Like a little staff nook? I mean, what's, what's the size problem? Okay, let's go into the game mode. So now that I've done that, I can't, I'm not gonna get as much money back from selling these things. Uh, oh, I gotta wait till they're built. Let's see what I got for. Oh, I've got one new upgrade because, shut up and sleep in here, build a guest room. My fame rises for building a well, like at the start of the game. Your okay. reputation is improving. You'll notice I don't have that much fame, and it's actually because I figured out the best way to control uh, your fame rising, because I didn't want to ha have that happen while I was grinding away. So the best way to control fame was to raise the prices on all my stuff. So nobody's like that stoked to be here. I mean, she is. Marissa's happy, but she's not going to be happy once she buys Kasha for 67 doubloons. Uh-oh. What's this now? Uh, usually there's a highlight that comes up and it tells me what's wrong. No cauldron working, so go put some go put some fire and some wood in there. Okay. All right, so we're done. Let's take a look. 
What are my sizes? Size 40, size 55. It's not great. Those are both really bad, but honestly, like, I don't know. What do you want? What do you want from me? <laughs> Bigger size? So the best this could be is probably about a 60. Uh, so do we make a little staff nook? Let's just make a little staff nook. Why not? Uh, Boom, another however many thousand doubloons. All right, now let's think about what's the exterior. So I did this like brick and wood thing. So let's do something I like. Do, 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 no. So do we have it co just copy up like that? Let's do that for now. It leaks, it, I mean, it looks fine, it looks fine. Does it look great? I don't know. I don't know if great is the word you'd use. Now, why don't we carry that hallway vibe, this kind of crackled paint stuff, which I think was that one. Great, so our hallway is all crackled. And uh, let's put a... Just for now, just for the look and for the safety of our guests. All right? Uh, oh, there is a... I can't believe I've never used the search tool. I only, <laughs> guys, I literally just discovered that search tool. Okay, so that lines up. Okay, so I don't have to worry about control moving it. There we go. Oh, but I do worry. Uh, right, okay, okay, okay. Oh, uh, don't be like that. Oh, come on. I guess because of the stairs are right there. Boo! All right, well, that is uh, going to make me very sad to be alive. And I, I want to be happy to be alive, so I'm going to move these and control move them into position. Oh, yeah. I wish this was like Planet Zoo. I could just copy that over and do it over here. So I don't know. That's, you know, it's just for my peace of mind. This doesn't really matter. I mean, actually, most of this design stuff doesn't really matter. You just need tables, and then... Yeah, see, that worked. Okay. You just need tables, and the guests will just show up. But I like doing it up. All right, let's get some uh, doors in here. And I want them to, of course, look all the same. So eventually, like I said, this is all going to wrap around. Have a nice balcony in here. Some small rooms here and here. And then, like, a little closet there. That's the that's part two. All right, what kind of doors do we have here? You don't want to look inside. You don't want a peephole. Maybe the blue ones are kind of nice. Like these? They look kind of like... There. Does that look okay? What if I sold these and move them here and here? That looks moderately symmetrical to me. And we'll put some, like, candles there and there. All right. Looking good. Now, windows, of course. Second floor, we don't need, like, the grate. We don't need security grate. And honestly, like, I don't know if you guys have used these, but... I don't know. Can we be honest? Can we just be honest about these windows and just say... Can we just say no to them? Are you guys going to be mad at me if I just use these two variations of these two windows? You know what? Honestly, if you're going to be mad at me, I still... To be honest, I'm still going to use them. <laughs> Uh, am I doing... I'm not really doing that very symmetrically. So let's get rid of those guys. One on the edge, one on the edge. And then... Uh, uh, and then... Uh, uh. I mean, it looks vaguely symmetrical placement of the windows, but not matching up to the whatever. Why don't we get some windows in here? So I did one and then one like that. And then this is... Oh, actually. Bottom floor and staff area so let's sell that i don't want you know i don't know why it doesn't make it safer but i just like there being a grate all right let's see if that looks good with the second floor there okay so that's symmetrical at least i don't know why i'm being all symmetrical i think what it is is i had a commenter on here say that my weird janky placement of my tables was driving his ocd nuts so this room here we're gonna try to make nice and symmetrical and then this room here which is going to be called the Rakesh Suite, as usual, thanks to my OG subscriber. Your employee is leveling up. Yes, good. Thanks for the employee. So this one's going to be a bit more 
funky. And this one's going to be our OCD room. Okay. So let's, uh, let's see. What are we dealing with here? So we've got open space here, here, maybe there, but I don't think that'll line up. And I'll keep that window. This could be a little nook. But let's put a... Uh, 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 uh. So if I type in fireplace, yeah, this is working. Okay. What styles do we have? We've got an outlaw style fireplace. A traveler style one, which I think is the one we have downstairs. No, I think we have this one downstairs. Yeah, so we don't need... That's a town's... It doesn't matter. Or another traveler type of one. Or this beast. Oh, whoa. Very old school looking. Very expensive too. But we've got the Dagloons to play with. Let's go with this guy. Let's go with this bad boy. I don't know. I like that. This one's kind of... This one's more like a lodge... This one looks more medieval. So this room, look at that. Okay, this room is gonna be more of our rustic room. It's gonna have some peasant stuff and some outlaw stuff in it. So it's gonna be like, you, you just come here to, you just come here to get some rest. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, great one, solid content. What, what, what else were they gonna come do? All right, so let's take a look at the type of beds I have. Nice bed. Nice bed V2. Nice bed 3. They, they start to get pretty ornate, though. I don't want to go crazy with these beds. But like I said, this is going to be the crazy room. All right? So some of these beds are going to be a little crazy. They're going to be all over the place. Uh, oh, my goodness. You could have a bed sort of in the corner like this a bit. Do we want to do that? Here, let's do that. Let's move this over here. Bit on, just a bit on an angle. Sorry for that OCD guy, but so we're gonna put some seating here, some seating here, some crap over here. Let's get some more beds in here. We we definitely need some more beds though. I got I keep forgetting that that's what this game is. <laughs> it's you're trying to make money in this game. <laughs> All right, here we go. Should we just you know randomize it a bit? Ugh. Gosh. I don't know about this. I think I'm kind of... I think I'm going... Uh, I think I'm going a little too stupid with this this uh, design in here. Oh, you just really got to tap that E key. We can try to box it off and create little, like, little sleeping spots. I mean, really, again, what I think people are going to be screaming at me to do is just place the nicest bed. This is insane what you're doing. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. There's only six beds in here. But here's the thing. I never have seen it where it's like full usage. So maybe instead of seating, we get some more beds in here, though. What is this? Uh, fancy, messy. Okay. All right, look. We're just getting the beds in here, and we're going to look at it. Ugh, this room. I don't know about this. I don't know about making them all different types. I'm sure I'm going to take it in the comments. Oh, you guys are just gonna give it to me in the comments. <laughs> and you know what? Honestly, I welcome it. I've been really enjoying the fact... First of all, I didn't even know anyone was gonna watch this stuff. So the fact that you guys are tuning in and also telling me what I'm doing wrong constantly. <laughs> the fact that you are doing that actually just really... It does. It, I, it cheers me up. Because it's just like, oh man... I, who who would have known that people were going to watch this and kind of enjoy it? I feel like you guys are enjoying it. Or are you just tuning in to be like, what is this idiot going to do today? <laughs> oh, I love this tool that I just discovered. Again, huge fire hazard. Uh, is that rug like not on the ground? No, it is. Okay. Um, so, so since it is, uh, let's get a water barrel in here for safety purposes. I think somebody, I think a house person will fill that up. Uh, all right. What else do we need here? Let's get some more cool, like some more seating. I thought I had some more benches. I've got this bench, which is an outdoor bench, all outdoor benches. And then I had that sofa which is a little silly looking, if you ask me. 
I mean, it's okay, but do, do, you know what I mean? Like, it just has a real specific look. Yeah, let's do something like that, and then, like, a, like a just, a... just a jar. I don't know. <laughs> let's get some... Let's get some... Let's get a, a chandelier. A candelabra over in the corner. That looks kind of nice. And then uh, another bookshelf. Like that. Looks a bit dumb now because it's too close to the candelabra. So then we need to move these guys over a bit. Hopefully they can still get at them. When I put them on an angle, I know that there's that those green arrows, but I have seen in other people's builds that it's it's still accessible. I wish I could put in dividing walls. That would look nice. Traveler style ones? Hunter's trophies? Alright, let's get some light in here that's like uh, pretty nice. Uh, we don't want to scrimp too much, especially because I am just like floating in candles now. I'm not too worried about candle money. Exotic chandelier. I like that. That looks quite nice. Tavern chandelier looks good too. Kind of homey. A wagon wheel. Countryside chandelier looks a little weird and green. That guy looks like a ship thing. Let's just go tavern chandelier. It's it's also got a nice bonus there. So we'll just do one here. And then one there. And then you've got this light and this light. That should be enough. All right, now what else does a good room need? I know that it's going to need some more decorations, of course. But uh, a chamber pot. That's what it's called, I think. N a night potty. All right, where are people going to whiz in this place? Just like in the corner? I mean, here's the thing. They never actually use it. But yeah, it's like over here because you'd go whiz. You'd go into this corner and whiz. And then maybe there's another one over here. And then we'll put like a changing screen nearby. Let's move this here and put the changing screen right there. A little bit of an angle. And get our night potty. And then, so you've got your night potty here. And let's put just like a little basic stool for anybody that wants to like, you know, watch. So that's for our creepy creeps to watch. <laughs> and then uh, I've got some like chests. So I, th I don't think they're functional in any way. I think classy chest. But I like the idea that maybe at the foot of these beds is like, it's like, here, you can store your goods here, my friend. My friend. Store your goods here. All right, what else do we need in this room? Let's rug it up. Let's get a big old rug right in the middle here or something. Like that. Oh, yeah, rug it up. Rug it up good. And these guys get a rug. There. You know, you can't see it, but it's the details that count. Oh, this room is a little rowdy. This room does kind of look like a, uh, what do you call it? Like a hostel room where you're like, man, I really love traveling and getting peed on in the night. <laughs> I sure hope I get peed on while I travel. Fancy bathtub. Let's get a bathtub in here again. I don't know how, if I, I've never seen them being used. Uh, so let's try this, though. Maybe we should have a bathtub right here. Forget this bed for now. Let's have a bathtub right here. Like that. And then move our barrel of water over to the bathtub. That makes more sense to me. And then, uh, crate. That's a nice looking crate. Oh, it's kind of a big boy. Let's just get a little crate here in the corner. What's that? Changing screen. CR. <laughs> modern credenza. Do we want a mod? Is there room for a modern credenza? No. I mean, I'm still trying to make room for this bed. What we could do is join these two beds in holy matrimony and then do something like this. So just shove you against the wall here and then shove these guys like so. Whoop. There we go. 
move this rug to there. And then find, what was this thing called? Whatever that was called. Shoot, I can't remember what it was called. Okay, I'll just scroll and find it. Classy chest. Okay, I think the pathing is a little tight, but I think people can still get there. So I've got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven beds in here. Again, could you get more beds? Absolutely. But would it look this dope? Also, maybe. But would you be listening to my dumb voice while it happens? No. So that's why you are here. I know it to be true. I want to get like one more thing in here, maybe a little plant. So you come into this room and you're like, oh yeah, definitely, definitely, somebody's definitely peeing on me tonight. <laughs> but at least my stuff's locked away. There we go. So that's one room down. <laughs> and we've got a lot of work to, left to do, so let's speed this up here. <gasps> Woof. Okay. Yeah, you just okay, just keep it on room stuff for now. So, that, like I said, this is the this is the Rakesh suite. This is going to be my OCD room. But I, it's not fair that the, just because OCD people have OCD, it's not fair that they don't get a nice little fireplace area. So we're going to get a fireplace area in here too. Let's use the other one. This other nice little minimalist fireplace. Okay. And some pots. You know what? I should put these details in later. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to do a variation of my usual thing here. So let's get in uh, some traveler-friendly chairs, maybe, just for kicks. Okay, and let's find a little table here. I want this. I want there to be a table in front of this. Where are those? Where's that traveler-friendly one? Here we go. Oh, that's not traveler-friendly. Is this the only chair travelers like? Okay. Fine. Oops. Weird. See, look, it'll go yellow and then... Oh, no, it does take it. Okay. It is a very annoying that those don't line up. Let's go into tab view. So I'm now in total bird's eye view to make sure that this is as accurate as I can get it. Okay. Does it all move as a unit? Okay, good. Oh, come on. You know what? It's driving me nuts that I am trying so hard to get this to be... Ugh. Eh. There. Oh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't do anything in the room, in the, on the walls here. Or in here. Oh, crap. All right, let's get a rug under here. Do we put the bear skin? Oh, we can't put it under stuff. So it'll just be like in the entrance or something. I don't know where to put that. I'm going to put that in like a special person room. You heard me. You heard me. Special person room. Oh, no, wait. OCD room. So nice and straight on. And then move it over a bit. There. So this is like, yeah, you can sit in front of the fireplace. Uh, and you can also go to your night potty here in the corner. A little bit of privacy. So all the beds should maybe be along here. All right, so let's go with a decent bed, but not too crazy. I like this bed. What do we got here? Comfy, fancy two, fragile three, and this is durable two. Let's go fancy. Because I think they pay more if it's fancy, you know? Like that. <gasps> I wasn't paying attention. Oh man, we spend money fast. Okay, first loan of the game. Just give me like uh, 10,000 Douglases. All right, back to it, boys. I bet people were watching that, just watching my money go down. Like, what is he doing? All right, well, I'm sorry. And then I want to put a banister in here. Now, I did just take out a loan very fast, but I just knew I wanted this to get done. Oh, no, I can't put a banister in there. That's stupid because they won't be able to access it. Okay. Where's that credenza? Would that look nice there? Like at the edge of the beds? No, that looks a little silly. But if I did this... I like this idea that they all have a lockup. I don't know if that's a real thing, but in my mind, it's like one, two, one, two, one, two, you know? They get the little things. This guy doesn't. Screw him. <laughs> 
All right. Uh, what else do we want? This area here, probably. Let's just let's be let's be frugal here because we we now we have to pay off a loan. So I kind of want to make sure I'm making some cash here. No, not the sturdy one. That one, please. Okay, hopefully those still work. And then let's do a nice rug, a nice small rug, uh, just at the base of the bed. So this is this would be like where they all go to get their, you know, they take their shoes off before going in for a nice sleep. Okay. Uh, oh my goodness, I can't believe I didn't put anything on the uh, on the walls here. Do, 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 whoops, oops, oops. Oh, for heaven's sake. Gotta scroll back down. Do, do, do. Da, 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 da. Exotic chandelier, 650 doubloons. Okay. How many is that apart? One, two, okay. Two, three, four, five, CX. One, two, three, four, five, CX. Okay, so move it down one. Now, can it still be accessed? Yeah. Okay, great. Then one over here. One, two, three, one. Yeah, over the over the table. I think I think OCD person will forgive me for putting it right over that table. So it doesn't quite line up with this grid, but honestly, like, come on. Have you ever seen a chandelier not over a table? And then again, hopefully that's actually accessible by the uh, staff. All right, what else does a good room need? It needs like a, yeah, this kind of crap, cabinets and whatnot. Is there a spot to put a cabinet? I just don't like that the wood doesn't match. Oh yeah, here we go, a tall wardrobe. Same kind of wood. Can it fit in there? Nope. Well, let's put some chair. Let's put a chair in here so it looks. Oh yeah, right. I definitely want them to be able to bathe themselves. Do we do this? Do we move the potty over here and then get this little bathtub in there like this? I feel like that might be too tight. That looks a little bit too hard to get to. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens there. Uh, let's make sure we have a uh, barrel, a uh, medium-sized barrel, uh, some water. So let's move. Let's just. You know what? These don't even provide anything to the room. So let's sell those, and let's move this water barrel over here. All right, so we got water for this. This is maybe a little too tight, this area here. So I might have to move some stuff around if I actually want a bathtub in here. But also, I haven't seen it work yet. So maybe, who cares? Maybe, just maybe, uh, who cares? And uh, I know we were trying to do traveler stuff in here, but I think that kind of... Because I don't even know if this bed is traveler friendly. What style is this bed? Outre Mercien or something. It's the green stuff. All right, so let's uh, put a couple of just whatever chairs in here that look kind of nice. Okay. All right, so these are our guest rooms. Now, let us time jump forward to wrap up this episode because I don't want to go on forever. So let's time jump forward, and, uh, and then we will see you guys once I've got all the stuff on the walls and a little bit of a staff room I think that one I can just tour when I'm done so here we go time jump and whoa and we're back from that time jump sorry if that uh, magical effect was annoying <laughs> um, I swapped out a few things in the room so we put this uh, cupboard in here instead of that bookshelf because the bookshelf was very nobleman inspired and as you can see we've got our first couple of patrons and no people don't seem to like this room as much uh it is in a traveler style i finally got the rakesh suite to be the traveler style uh and uh it's only three stars moops 
Oops, maybe I'll make it cheaper then. And then this room here, boom, five stars. I assume that's, uh, what are the green guys? Uh, that is, uh, eh, eh, one second, gotta find it. Uh, your Valian. So this is the Your Veil room. Um, lined everything up a little bit better. I actually I could probably swap that out. I don't need two of those. I could get. I could put the bookshelf in here, but it might swing the style over to townsfolk. I don't know what that does. I assume that means townsfolk prefer sleeping here. That's it. I don't know. Uh, but I mean, look at the oh, the beautiful warm fire going. They've got a tub here. Now check out my staff room. So in here we've got. Somebody playing darts, baby. What's the staff room? Four stars, not bad, hey? There we go, staff room, baby. Get back I'll to work. Clean it right now. Yeah, clean it right now. Clean this room too. Priority cleaning, hi. Uh, that's stupid, I don't know, whatever. Uh, so we've got people sleeping here. Almost, ooh, all, two beds left and this room will be full. And then I still have this room with only the one sleeper. That's very nice for him. Uh, here's the thing, though. Honestly, I like this room better. I just think it looks more interesting. This room is nice, but it's very heavily themed one way. It's very green. I should change the walls, too. Once I get some more cash, uh, I'll change those walls. And then in here, in the staff room, it's just the staff room. They're coming here to chill. They got a little table, a bath, so they can de-stink some cupboards, I assume, with their snacks. And then I also put this banner row here, which is how I got the star rating, because these banners are very cheap for the amount of uh, benefit they give the room. Uh, and I thought these banners would be like, yeah, it doesn't matter whether you're Yorvel or Sambrian or Utremarchian. If you're a bit of a Frenchie, <laughs> then you too can work here. We welcome everybody. Uh, now, get back to work. So that's the staff room. Uh... Oh, he's left. He's gone. He's paid and gone. Okay, nobody's in the Rakesh suite. Sorry, Rakesh. We'll work on that. I'll make it. I just got to up the star rating, I think. And then probably unlock travelers. Should we just unlock travelers now? I don't want to mess with my people coming in. I'll do that in the second episode. Uh, and then this, of course, we'll have to rename this as the OCD, OCD room. <laughs> All right, so that's part one. In part two, we're going to save up a bunch of cash. A lot. I need a lot. And expand all of this out here and build our sort of overlooking, over this looking balcony thing. And it's going to be a wraparound. I want people to walk all around it. And then eventually one day we'll move the stairs out here too, and then we can expand these rooms a bit. Uh, that's like ultra late game. I want to have adventurers and stuff going before that. Which I hopefully think I'm gonna fit some small, very small, unfortunately, adventurer rooms. There's too little food to feed all the patrons. Okay, I'm gonna fit some adventurer rooms in here. So how am I doing for cash? Okay, cash is rolling in. I'm gonna have to do some buying of some new stuff. Oh, let's see how it looks with the roof, and then that'll be it. Hey, look at that! There it is. The solid content in and suites, and cemetery. Uh going down for the night. So we're going to see you guys in uh, part two of this adding the second floor episode. Hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you again. <laughs>